Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, please do go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to go ahead, come through, hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are over here getting it in with these good old tarot messages. Like this video, like this video, like this video. If you would like a personal reading from me, please hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. All readings are $44.44. .44. And do have a two-day turnaround time also, okay? If you would like to donate to this channel, DF Tarot Tea at PayPal, DF Tarot Tea at Cash App. If you have a little tea you just want to share with this channel, DFTBox at gmail.com, okay? Y'all, let's get into it. Um, somebody out there, this is what I'm getting, okay? Um, somebody out there, you are trying to get into a Ten of Pentacles with a masculine, Okay? And we want to see what what uh, energy support or or deny uh, your probability of getting into a ten of pentacles with this masculine. OK, we're trying to see what's going on. OK. What you need to know, girl. This man takes a lot of pride. In you, OK, in this situation, six of wands, queen of wands, you guys have a lot of passion between you okay um and we see the eight of wands okay wands 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 a lot of passion between y'all um you also have a lot of passion and communication okay you speak your mind and you don't waste nobody's time when you do it ten of cups okay this is very good energy okay for this ten of cups um this masculine here is running towards a ten of cups and he is running away from the idea that child's relationship would not work. Um, he's running away from being bound, being caged up. He is running toward Ten of Cups energy with you. He wants this. Um, Y'all's foundation, okay, if you were to move into a Ten of Pentacles, it would largely be charged by him, okay, in terms of setting the momentum. Now, here's what you got to catch. In terms of setting the, um, the momentum, it would be largely supported by him. However, he is a knight and you are a queen. Um, so this man, you have to understand that he's, he's, he, 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 you know, he's still uh, kind of entertaining a thing or two. That is why he is chasing the Ten of Cups. Um, this man is one that is still flirting and grinning and skinning a little bit out here in these streets, just so you know. Um, I, I'm just telling you, okay? However, he ain't trying to just be out there, okay? He is still trying to be with you. Um, and he really does want a family with you. So he's kind of setting the momentum and what that tells us, because he's still a little irresponsible, what that's telling us is that this Ten of Pentacles would be a little shaky because you need very solid foundation. You're a whole queen of wands and he, 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 listen, he ain't playing when he don't play about you, but he still, he still is who he is. Okay. That's just. That's just what you got to accept and recognize when it comes to this one here, okay? He still is who he is. So we see the Three of Cups, okay? We see the Fool, and we see the Eight of Wands, okay? There's been a lot of Wands energy in this reading, okay? Well, they go to Wands again, y'all. Okay, we see the Six of Cups, and we see the Hermit. Um, listen... Y'all know we got to ring them church bells because we did pull the judgment card, okay? Make sure you like this video, girl. So, one of the things that you would have to consider and think about in terms of victory is that you, in this Ten of Pentacles, is that you like to stay social. You want to definitely be a woman that continues to maintain the graces and the, the frills that you've, you've earned and gained being a social creature so you would still want some independence okay when it comes to being the queen of wands though where you may be have a little issue is you can be a little foolish okay you can be so feisty and fiery that you make questionable decisions in a relationship 
Um, funny, we did see this energy kind of coming through earlier. So a lot of our fire sign girls, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, you need to start watching your temper, watching your words, because it can be detrimental to your relationship, okay? Um, you're also somebody that likes to talk through decisions. That's a positive for you building a Ten of Pentacles with this man. Seven of Wands, okay, on top of this man's Ten of Cups. You need to know that if this man gets into a family with you, Ain't going to be no getting him off of that, okay? He's going to be with you. He's going to be in this family energy with you. And he's not going to lay off of that, okay? He's going to be with you. That's on period. We see the Knight of Swords, okay? This man will fight to make an offering to you that he wants you to accept. This man may be a little older than you or he may be more experienced than you. Um, and that plays a big role in how y'all relationship express itself. This man is not really going to want to take no for an answer, okay? He's going to be like, I don't care about nobody else. I want to be in a final relationship with you. And here's my offering, okay? If you were to not accept it, this man would be very lonely and he would never get over you. You would be one of the great loves lost in his life. So you want to make sure... <clears throat> Okay, we cut the deck on the Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Conversations about uh, commitment are going to be a big part of y'all's dynamic, okay? This is not something to be taken lightly, right? Um, you do, you all seem to have a pretty strong foundation for getting into a Ten of Pentacles, okay? Um, the Tower, okay, girl? The Two of Cups, the Devil, oh my 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 i mean devil in a red dress that's literally what i just heard okay put on your red dress then i heard kanye west it's the ma it's the magic hour it's the magic hour okay i heard yay okay and we see the hierophants which we we we've just seen um so we see here with this ten of pentacles girl listen you know Make sure that your social life and you're wanting to be independent and you're wanting to look great because I get a vibe like you like to look good. One of the things you would need to be aware of if getting into a Ten of Pentacles with this particular masculine, okay? Um, this masculine also, he may be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. One thing you need to keep in mind when it comes to him is that he really don't like... he. It, okay, I'm not going to say that. But if you got out there too far, it will cause problems in your relationship, okay? If you just got so, you know, you are you got a whole life now without him. He don't know your friends no more. You sashaying out here with your little red dress on. He gonna be like, he may blow up. Um, but I, I get the vibe that by him being an air sign, potentially an air, potentially an air sign energy, you would have to go really, really far out and away from him for him to really care you know because air signs are independent um they are you know generally give a really long leash and relate relationships they tend to just kind of let it flow so you would have to be very blatant and very disrespectful for him to even say something to you about it okay that's just something for you to know also in a relationship you can be kind of dominant okay um, the dominant energy, the dominant person, you know, you can also be impetuous, just jumping off into shit without thinking. You want to make sure, okay, you just making rash decisions, going off without thinking about it. Um, you know, things that even jumping into the relationship and not really thinking about certain things first, that could weaken this Ten of Pentacles. Just something for you to think about, okay? And over here, we got that Eight of Wands and that Judgment card and that Devil. You also can be a little controlling and you have a high sex drive, okay? That, that's what's T. Um, I'm just telling you, okay? So your passion, you're all passion, okay? And your passion would be a great force, like a chariot energy that could drive this relationship forward. However, as you know, with any passion, passion can always, can also lead to a tower moment. So you want to make sure that you keep yourself balanced if you want to be in a Ten of Pentacles. And I keep wanting to say remain in the Ten of Pentacles. I think some of you are already in a Ten of Pentacles with a masculine and you just haven't noticed it yet. Um, but y'all are already in the Ten of Pentacles. This is not good. Y'all in it. It's not going to end whether y'all have gone official yet or not. You're already in a Ten of Pentacles with this masculine. Okay. So these are things you need to be aware of and watching out for. Okay. Ten of Cups. 
Seven of Wands, just reminding y'all, okay? With the King of Pentacles. Um, this man, he, he will stand his ground and he will provide for a family. So we ain't even got to think about it. We're going to move on because he's going to do his part. Okay? From this offering that this masculine gave you, he would expect you to accept his offerings and he would always make you small offerings. So this is the type of man that's like, hey, I stopped off. I got your favorite Danish. Hey, I, you know, he would do his part to always make little offerings to you and for you. Okay. Um, we see the eight of swords. We see the hermit and we see the hierophant. This man want to marry you. Okay. That's the bottom line. And anything other than that, he would be hurt. He would feel blocked. He would feel left behind. He would feel alone. This man is kind of in a don't take no for an answer. But what's interesting is, even though he's the one that has the propensity to be out flirting in the streets, you have the higher sex drive, okay? And, well, I won't say that. I, I, I do get the vibe that y'all are sexually compatible in terms of drive. But you are the one who is like the feisty you know, bringing the, the fire and the heat to the relationship. I'm actually getting fire, witch energy from you, okay? If you do not already, you will probably be successful with candle magic, with burning bowl rituals, um, you know, burning petitions, um, anything that has to do with pyromancy and um, divination, you would probably be extremely talented at, okay? You also want to be one that burns your herbs, burns your sages, um, you know, that sort of thing, okay? Um, burn your Palo Santo. Um, you may also be talented with root work, whether you know it or not, but primarily fire witch energy. Even in root work, you would do well with burning your herbs or using them to represent things and then introducing them to fire somebody is very talented with fire witch energy okay you have a very wild woman energy okay you also may be talented as a medicinal um kind of a medicinal witch so we got a kind of fire witch green witch thing going here with you you're very powerful in that way and so those are your powers. That's why this man is so hypnotized by you and wants to be committed to you. It has a lot to do with your fire energy. Um, whoever this is, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo are the fire signs. However, you have more than that. Somebody has high fire energy in their chart or you were raised by fire sign energies or you have a Venus in a fire sign or a Mars in a fire sign. There are some key elements and moments in your chart where fire sign energy is what it's all about, sister, okay? Fire signs really connect for you because you are a bloodline fire witch, okay? That is what's coming through to me. And that has this man hooked because fire witches are very high in transformational energy. They are very high in dark divine energy. They are very high in mysterious energy a lot of times as well. That's how they can be so effective and transformational. Um, this man wants to figure you out. He doesn't understand how you can have all this magic here. Okay, all this, all this fire red hot magic. He's never seen it before. Okay, and this man likes heat. Okay, he's drawn to heat. Okay, this eight of swords, y'all, that fell on the floor. This man is not interested at all in ending up in a position with you where he is not able to be with you, not able to be next to you. He just is not, okay? He ain't going for that. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, okay? So, there's a lot of passion in you, okay? Um, definitely fire, fire, fire witches. Shout out to y'all, okay? High priestess energy. So you definitely will want to socially, you may do better to keep some of your social life <laughs> a secret from this masculine. It's part of your magic as well in this witchy energy. It is. It would be part of your magic because the truth of the matter is that if you keep a lot of this stuff secret, this man will find you that much more appealing. Okay? He would. Your secrets could be, they're not even nothing. You had a glass of wine with a girlfriend, but not quite telling him where you were or what kind of wine you drank or whatever. This is something that would keep him um, mesmerized, okay? Um, pause. We are going to take a little second here, um, okay? 
Because I am just picking up a vibe. Y'all know I be having to grab a book sometime. Hold on. Okay, because I'm really getting a vibe. Witchcraft cocktails. Okay, Julie Helena Hottas. Um, I am really getting a vibe here. You you want to also kind of use um, wines as well. Okay, to kind of... Um, Create certain energies in y'all relationship, okay? That just really stuck out to me, okay? Wines, um, it just stuck out, okay? So, um, you know, if you want to kind of bring this man closer to you by doing candle magic and including wine, you want to have a glass of rosé. It's associated with love, okay? Um... If you want to kind of reach the astral astral realm with this situation um, and kind of speak to the spiritual world from the physical world, okay? Um, we see her here associating red and white wine with the in-between, okay? So that is a good way. If I were you, I might actually mix those two wines, okay? And just have a small glass that mixes the two to represent in-between. Um, for those of y'all that may do any type of burning bowl rituals or candle magic, Thinking of adding this to it could bring this man closer in to you and he'd be more open to um, whatever your petitions are in terms of him taking in or being f fascinated with your mysteries and your passions, okay? Yeah, so the astral realm plays a big part with you if you wanted to really get this man enchanted. Yeah, spell work in the astral, the high priestess and the seven of cups suggest to us you will be very successful in that way and using these things to create additional foundation for your ten of pentacles with this man. Also, never leave behind your passions, baby. This man loves your high sex drive. This man loves your, you get angry, you get hot tempered. He likes this about you. You are his hot tempered, fiery uh, woman. Also, use chocolate in your spell work as well. I'm hearing that. Chocolate is also something that is very highly affiliated with your temperament, okay? You can even use chocolate and spell work to represent yourself, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Um, or get a candle, a brown candle, something that represents chocolate, okay? That level of, of a kind of mix of sugar and sweet um, with sexual, like a, it's an aphrodisiac chocolate. If anyone didn't know, that is something that really is going to... Uh, you know, stick out when it comes to you. So we see the Empress, baby. We look, this man wants, he wants a lot of sex and a lot of babies and he willing to pay. Okay. This man going to take good care of you. And he wants you to sit there kind of in a luxurious space. This is also Aries energy here on the Empress. Okay. I think somewhere between Aries and Taurus, if I'm not mistaken, he really wants you to feel grounded and secure. And he supports the fact that you are so feisty and fiery. Okay. All of these things, his like for who you are, all of this supports the 10 of pentacles. Okay. Period. Um, we see here these, these offerings that he's going to make you, this man is going to make you offers. But again, I didn't told y'all already, this man still might creep outside every now and then. I'm just, I'm just, I'm being honest with you. I ain't got time to tell no lies. Okay. And we see the emperor. This man would stand firm and quite dominant in a marital situation with you. You would not have to worry about that. Whether it was legal marriage or not or the Ten of Pentacles, I'm actually hearing that he would stand ten toes down either way. You are his primary partner. Um, you are the person that he considers himself to be in union with. Okay. Regardless of what's what. Okay. There's a lot of feminine and astral uh, power on your end. So make sure that you, you, you better exploit that. Don't be no fool, okay? That's all I can tell you. Y'all know I be so anal about stuff like this. Okay? So uh, those are all major, 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 major signs of what's what. For y'all to establish this Ten of Pentacles, okay? And have the proper support for this ten of pentacles okay so that's what it's all about okay y'all definitely would want to compromise okay in order to maintain or even establish this ten of pentacles compromise is going to be a necessity okay y'all gonna have to do some compromising um Okay, y'all are also going to have to embrace y'all shadow selves. And by that, I mean, you're going to have to embrace his shadow. He like to go outside. I done told you. And he's going to have to embrace your shadow. You wild out. Okay, you wild out. You know, we got, we got nympho pyromaniac energy. <laughs> 
<laughs> we got nympho pyro energy from you, sis. Okay, you wild out. Okay, you wild out. Okay, that's your shadow. Okay, nympho pyro. Okay, that's your shadow. These are things that he's going to have to accept. It's like you're going to have to accept the fact that bro likes attention. He's a sucker for, for female attention. And he does creep out every now and then. Even if it's just for drinks and a little kiki. Um, a little this, a little that. Every now and again, okay? I'm just, this is the shadow side of this relationship, okay? That's what it is. Um, this is what it is, okay? Also, y'all need to really try to come against allowing things or people on social media to have a negative impact on y'all's relationship. Y'all are going to have to be aware of that. Okay, y'all are going to have to be aware of kind of keeping some of y'all relationship off of social media. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. Y'all are going to have to be aware of keeping a lot of y'all tea off social media. Because when you nympho pyro on this man and you wear him out and you have him a little exhausted. He might think I should, you know, I'm going to be on social media, baby. I'm outside. I'm at the party. And he posted pictures. Now people think there's a crack in y'all's ten of pentacles because he's mad at you for you doing you at this moment. And now he didn't went outside. Okay. And on your side, when this man goes outside, that's not the moment for you to put on your baddest red dress and come online and let everybody know. It's, I'm Okay. So what's up? We outside. No, that's y'all need to keep all that off social media because what y'all don't know. Y'all actually have, both of y'all have people waiting to see a crack in y'all relationship so they can jump in and try to cause confusion, okay? Both of y'all have hella admirers and fans, okay? Period. Okay, both of y'all have admirers and fans that will cross y'all's ten of pentacles, okay? Crossing you are men who would try to come to you with money. They would say, I can give you some security because everybody know you're you you and him are solid like everybody's gonna realize like y'all what's happening okay y'all are really on each other so for you there are men coming in saying i got a couple of dollars you know why don't you fool with me okay that is going to be the type of man that comes in to try to cross him out of your life um now a man who thinks that notice in terms of resources this is a knight and he is a king i just want you to catch that baby. <laughs> Okay, this is a night. He is a king. But there are men who are going to try to come in and cross you by saying, hey, I can offer you a couple of dollars. Come be with me. He just going to have a lot of women that are going to be interested in offering him Page of Cups energy. Hey, let's go out. Let's kick it. I'll take you on a date. Let's have sex. Okay, a lot of light energy. No one's going to offer him security. He really doesn't have women that want to take him on um, as their man as much as women that are going to spend a night with him because he's kind of known as that type of man. You know, everybody know he's going to be in the club, da 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 So his, hey, what you doing tonight? One night, let's kick it. Or, you know, the flings, the short-term flings. We kicking it till we don't kick it no more. He, he attracts, he's going to attract kind of like the sleazy, she look good, but she ain't offering nothing. But, you know, that's cool with him, okay? <laughs> and they're going to try to come across and cross you out, okay? Women that just think, I look good, I can take him. And men thinking, I got money, I can take him. So, that's just something for y'all to be aware of. This is why you don't want to let y'all's tea uh, drip out onto social media. It's just going to be a shit show, Okay? At the end of the day, y'all are solid, okay? Period. There are some men in your life that are hurt that you and him are so solid. Because y'all are solid. Y'all balance each other out. Okay? There are some men coming up, I mean, some women coming up in his future that are going to be hurt that y'all are solid. But, um, and they, they're going to turn their backs on him, okay? There are going to be women that he would never be able to kick it with because of how solid y'all are. Okay, uh, period. If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Do not be afraid to go ahead and hit that bell. If you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are up in here getting it in with all of these good old tarot messages. If you would like a personal reading from me, dftarot at gmail.com. If you would like to donate to this channel, if you enjoy the content, uh, Cash App or PayPal, dftarot. Like this video, like this video, like this video. If you would like to share a little tea for me with me, dftbox at gmail.com. As always, y'all, I will catch y'all in the next one.